super hard with it. Doesn't care. Well, the way he's yeah. probably thinking of it is, I still yeah. have to, I still have to catch up to these guys. Yeah, I don't exactly. have any time to take any days off. Yep. That's exactly you know how he played it. So we'll see uh, where all that diligence and practice gets him here, going up against Buck, uh, bringing out the Fox for this first game. Looks like Fountain making his first appearance of, uh, of the stream. Yep. This first top 32 that we've been on. Mm. Uh, that's it. Okay, yeah, try to cover the air dodge, because whenever Sheik is close enough to get back on the stage, instead of a beam, because you have so much lag, you'll just air dodge in. Sure. Yeah. See yep, see, there's the other air dodge in, and amazing job by Plum. And that should be it. Oh, okay. And mind you, the platforms here on Fountain of Dreams are extremely okay. random, but the, yo. That's that hard work, DJ. That's that hard work I'm talking about. <laughs> Man is not ready to relinquish this stock, making it very difficult. That was amazing. You know what I'm saying, yeah, he held in there. Yeah, well Found, over 150. Yeah, found the dreams. The the two side platforms are totally RNG, totally random. Oh, there's no method to it. No. Oh, okay. I was, I was unaware of that actually. I'll try to snipe him out. I like this pressure from Spark. Ooh, tipper up smash, but not enough. Found and Dreams, one of the highest uh, ceilings for the neutral stages. Go for the fair, let's see how he gets this KO. Oh, goes for the down air, just to see if he can catch him, pop him up, get him with an up air. Wow, and another, yo, another tipper us match? I said, Rock, Rock La Familia, man, JC. <laughs> Rock's <laughs> Dynasty, building, man. homie. Take it any way we can get it. I like that from Plump, you know, just going for the up air just to scare him so he could jump and sure. then he has to land with no jumps. I went for the roll yep. into the charge. Didn't even need to charge it, but making a statement. Just letting him know, man. I got all the time in the world, man. Check the roll before you get that, too. <laughs> he holding it down either way, man. We ain't mad at you, Plump. Do your thing, baby. Alright. So Spark trailing quite a bit. But of course, not making anything easy on him, man. His movement is so crisp, oh my as God. we would expect. Not disappointing on any fronts. Yeah, and that's the problem with this matchup is that Sheik gets steamrolled a lot, and it's hard for her to actually start something on Fox. Yeah. Unless you get a grab this Fox, once he's at a low percent, low to mid percent, he can just crowd cancel almost anything that Sheik does. And it's even harder when not only going up against one of the best, like you're, you main the character that this guy, like, yeah. <laughs> he plays at the highest level possible. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he knows a lot of these tricks that Spark is going for. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I love oh, okay. it. Let's yeah, go. I like that. Yeah, excellent execution on the part of Spark. And a full stock. Oh, that's the thing going for that down smash. You know, Club could have easily just crotch canceled it. Crotch cancel shine. Yeah, that's the thing. It's very hard for Sheik to come down with an attack. Fox can beat out everything that Sheik does on landing with an up tilt. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It up. So Plup, pretty dominant in that exchange right there. Convincing two stock, I would say. Yeah, and that's one of Sheik's best stages too. So let's see if he, he might go back. Maybe he wants to stage with more breathing room. Like that. The best thing I could say about that is, I mean, as you alluded to, you know, one of Sheik's best stages, but you know, there's something to be said about a stage that you're just comfortable playing on yeah. as a as an individual too. So, you know, we'll see what pick he has in store. Could it be the difference maker. I don't think we're gonna see any Sheik do this. I think Plump anytime you get away with uh, not having to do that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Plump rocking uh, the infamous potato tag. Why is that infamous? <laughs> I, don't even know. I, just, like, I got. I was just curious, man. I, I don't know the whole anthology. <laughs> Hey, I know y'all got Twitter, man. Tweet it. <laughs> tell you, tweet us now. Wow, this okay. constant pressure. Oh, yeah. Looked like he wanted a either uh, perfect ledge dash or jump from the ledge to punish that air dodge. But. If I'm Spark, I'm taking full advantage of that. Too. Oh, yeah. you going to give me that stock, I'm going to take it. I'm going to go to distance. Track him. Exactly. All right, let's see what Puck does here. It's the edge guard going for the up air. Probably could have lived if he DI'd it, but... Still, though, would have been a good position for Plup either way. Here we go. Three stocks of these. Anytime you have a chance to just kind of maximize that stock, you got to take advantage. You, know, you said it best. If you had an opportunity to live, you should live. You know what I mean? Like, kind of what it comes down to. But everything doesn't always go according to plan. Still has the lead. Only 10% separating these guys. Well, five now on the favor of Plup, and he is just cooking. Ooh, I like that setup. Instead of going for the bear, goes for the shine to get him off stage? Yo, Plup. 
<laughs> Ooh! Alright, that's this opportunity right there. Okay. Oh, but let him land on the stage. Oh, but still getting the edge guard just like that. Super good patience yeah. on the part of Spark. I mean, he landed that bear perfectly. Uh, what might have thrown away that, that first stock, but he's making it count. Yep. I like what I'm seeing out of Spark. Wow, that one frame, man. You gotta be on point with those uh, textures. Alright, All right, just keeping it simple, going for the back end. I right, Spark just trying to get that space. He does, you know, club is trying to, you know, just trying to steamroll him, man. Yeah, just keep the pressure on Sheik. Just not make her start anything. And going okay. for the fair, he's still make it back. Back there. All right, let's see what he does here. Oh, right. okay, going for the nair. A lot of things that he could have done in that situation, but still sealed the stock. There we go, Spark in the lead. Yes, I think Spark is doing an excellent job. Well, it might be... Okay, okay I was going to yeah. say. It's one of those situations you got to live it. You gotta yeah, live yeah, you got to live it. <laughs> oh, that pressure. Oh, he tried to he tried to run in and crouch cancel the get-up attack into down smash. Unfortunately, that could have Yeah. <laughs> Right. Point the stock away, Spark. I mean, this would be tremendous if he can get himself on the board here against Club. Exactly. Ooh, so, they are moving. I'm they're, they're dancing right now. Yeah, oh, oh no. no! Try to get a, a probably a crotch cancel down smash in the situation, or a crotch cancel grab. But you said it, man. They were dancing, man. But he had two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough, man. I'm sorry. That is, but that's the rough stuff. That's rough, man. Damn, these SDs that we're seeing last stock in these matches, yeah. man. And this is when both players are last stock, too. But, like I said. <laughs> Why is Westfall just smiling? <laughs> <laughs> Can't roll that. Yeah. Oh, man, let's but get it. But, regardless, game three, 2-0 yep. for Flub so far. If I'm, uh, I don't know, if I'm, uh, if I'm smart, smart, I'm not feeling too discouraged. And that's why, right? Yeah, that's why. That's you can why. still have to do it. You get him on stage, shake it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That, that's our that's our main thing versus Fox, man. Is the gimmick. You gotta get him in those traps. Do it. Oh wow! Caught the bad DI. Seriously. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. He's like, okay, I know he adapted from the first game. Yeah, that first game where he yeah. checked like three things and once he's just like, you know, I ain't gonna get opportunity to send you send you straight up. Because even though you tech it and you survive, yeah. you can still get punished with something like an up smash if you have a lot of percent. Definitely. So, that's the layers that we was talking about. You already know, man. Oh, I like this from Spark, just taking his time, trying to bait something laggy so then he could go in and try to get a grab or a good hit. Start the something. big thing I'm seeing from Spark is that he just has this really nice flashes of break. He's got to be behind his gameplay. Oh, and the up smash looking like me out there, except I do the fair into up smash because moves like soft fair and fair, they're meant for combo extend combo extenders. Okay. Super deep on that one. Okay, I like it. All right, Good commitment for Spark. I'm saying, man, Flash is a greatness. The problem is sometimes you run into Flash like a damn solar flare. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's one of those things that's hard to deal with. Yeah, that's that Dragon Ball Z. I'm saying, man. That ain't TN, though, man. This man's actually winning. Oh, I like that spot dodge to avoid the down tilt. Ooh, yo, Spark showing some aggression right there. It's working out for him. Sometimes you gotta switch it up, man. You do. Spark's been, you know, kind of. Oh, oh no, no, once man. again. I feel like Spark, man. Some of these stock stays just losing, man. Just, just throws them away, and it's hard to it's, it's hard to see because you see yeah. what could be developing. You know what I mean? You do see the potential, but nonetheless, you know, you're not gonna see Spark complaining about that. Yeah. All right. Just taking the time. Let's see. Fair him off stage. Let's see what he does here. Oh, wow. Oh, almost timed it perfectly there. Wow. Amazing job by Plum, knowing that he was going to narrow the shield, so he waited just a tad. Oh, that was yeah, really good. Him, yeah. He anticipated that. He anticipated that aggressive return and had that shot perfectly timed. So, good, a good effort on Spark's part, too, man. Nothing to be ashamed of. 